Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So many of you wanted to know how to place fondant decorations on a whipped cream cake to prevent it from slipping and leaking. So the main important thing for this is the whipped cream. The whipped cream should be perfectly whipped. That is neither too loose nor too stiff to place the fondant decorations on it. So for a perfect whipped cream, you can watch my earlier video on three types of frostings whose link is in the description box below. Now the second important thing is how to refrigerate these types of cakes. So as shown in my previous video, the fondant cake should be stored at a minimum cooling power. That means the cooling in the refrigerator should be very low while storing these types of cakes. And for more details, you can watch my previous video on how to refrigerate fondant cakes whose link is in the description box below. So I'll be showing you two ways how to place your fondant decorations on a whipped cream cake which depends on the type of decorations you need to do on it. And lastly, if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel yet, then please do subscribe it now. Now what I do is add some Tylos powder in the fondant before making the decorations from it which helps the decoration to get stiff a little so that it won't get soft easily because of the whipped cream. I let the decoration set for 15 to 20 minutes before placing it on the cake. Now the first way. If you want to do a light fondant decoration on the whipped cream like placing polka dots, names or numbers then the plain surface of the whipped cream won't be a problem. So to show you how to place light decorations on a plain surface of whipped cream I'll start covering the cake with the whipped cream first. Now on a plain surface you can stick ribbons like this as well. Don't make the decorations too thin because then it will get soft very quickly and don't even make the decorations too thick as it may slip downwards automatically. Stick the decorations lightly to it and don't press a lot. Now secure the bow with a toothpick and insert it sticking on the ribbon with the help of very little water. Similarly stick the other decorations as well. Now because I had added Tylos powder in these decorations, they won't easily get soft, hence prevents the decorations from the cake as the stopper is more in weight. Before refrigerating, do check the cooling of your refrigerator. Cooling should be very less as I told you earlier. Here are some examples of decorations on a plain surface. Now the second way. 
If you want to do more fondant decorations on the whipped cream, then make any type of texture on the whipped cream to create an uneven texture on it. Again, start by covering the cake with some whipped cream. Now create any type of texture on it. The reason behind doing this is that your decorations won't slip downwards easily because of the uneven surface of the whipped cream. You can give any kind of texture to your whipped cream. You just need to create an uneven surface on it. Now start placing your fondant decorations on it and stick it very lightly. Similarly, stick the other decorations as well. Now, the surface of the whipped cream being uneven, you can stick more decorations as compared to the plain surface of the whipped cream. Secure the topper with a toothpick and insert it inside the cake. Now again, before refrigerating, do check the cooling of your refrigerator. Here are some examples of decoration on a textured surface. So here were some tips on how to place fondant decorations on a whipped cream cake. But in case you live in a humid climate, then both of these techniques won't work for you as humidity itself makes the fondant very soft and sticky. So guys, if you like my video, then don't forget to hit on the like button and do subscribe to my channel. And lastly, I wish you all a very happy and a prosperous Diwali. Bye-bye.